I love guacamole, but I have made it the same way for many years. So I thought I'd sort of spice it up and give it a Japanese twist using miso. So first up, miso paste into a bowl. This is white miso paste, so it's milder than a red miso. Into this, I'll add some garlic. Now this is one very large garlic clove. So I'm going to use just a quarter of this. We want a subtle garlic flavour, so don't overdo it or else it'll overpower our Japanese style guacamole. That's plenty. And we'll just scoop that off the grater into the miso. Now for some lime juice. I'm using the lime juice and the zest for this. So zest in first and we'll grate it directly into the bowl. It smells fantastic. Now for the juice, we'll just cut that lime in half and I'll use my nifty juicer here to squeeze as much of that lime juice out as possible. And the second one. And now for the mirin. Mirin is a rice wine. It has a sweet tangy flavour. So we'll add a splash of that along with some sesame oil. Sesame oil is quite strong so we only need half a teaspoon for now. I'll taste it later to see if it needs some more. And now just using a whisk we'll break up that miso until all of that miso has blended in and there's no lumps. Looks good. And now we can add our avocados. Some ripe avocados. You'll need two avocados for this. We're going to cut them in half and just separate them. Oh, just perfect. Avocados are a fantastic carrier of flavour. We love them because of their texture and because of the creaminess. So that's why I've added quite a lot of flavour to the dressing. So we'll just take the seeds out and then with a spoon we'll just break it up straight into the miso vinaigrette. And the last avocado scoop it out. Okay, now we'll break this up just with a fork. I don't want this to be super pureed. I want this to have some chunks in it. It's all about the texture. So just break it up carefully and then fold. So it's all combining into that lovely miso vinaigrette. All right, I'm happy with that. Now for one last ingredient, some spring onions that I'll finely chop just for a mild onion flavor. And I just want the white and light green part of the spring onion. It's plenty. We'll scoop all that up into the guacamole. And then we'll give it one more fold through. Okay, now I'll have a taste just to see the seasonings correct. Mm. Wow. It's like a flavour bomb. So much going on. And then the texture, just delicious. Now to plate up a big bowl over here. And I'll spoon in the avocado. Gorgeous. Now for some extra colour, some chilli. I'm just going to finely chop a small red chilli. This one is a little fiery. I want some heat to this, but if you want it to be milder, you can use a long red chilli for this. Seeds and all. And we'll add that to the top. And for a contrasting colour, the addition of black sesame seeds. A generous sprinkle of that over the top. Now, of course, you can't have a Japanese style guacamole without some crackers. I'm going to use some rice crackers for this. I love how they're just slightly salty and of course very crunchy. So we'll add them to our plate. Generous amount of them. All right, I want to dig in. Mmm. That is so delicious. The combination of the lime and the miso chilli, it's one of those dips that you just have to double dip. It's that good. So much better than any of those store-bought dips. <laughs>